What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Milotic, bringing you another Pokemon, well, showdown battle. Today, we are facing off against M Dragon, and we are facing off against Marshadow, and Magearna, uh, and Protein Gren, and Gliscor, and a lot of other really scary threats, including a terrifying regen core of Slowking and Tangrove. Terrifying. We also, if you guys missed it, we lost last week. Um, we lost pretty much entirely because we got crits. Um, our Arceus got crits. Our plus six Arceus got crits by a plus six Lugia. And uh, that sealed the deal. I think without that crit, we would have probably swept. If not, we may have lost one more Pokemon. But instead, we ended up taking a massive loss. And uh, that really sets us back. And I need to take a break. I need to take a break, get away from Pokemon. And I ended that video very abruptly. I apologize. But honestly, just sometimes, I don't want to just say things that are stupid. Not going to be you know, representative of what I actually feel. So I decided to just say, you know what? I'm going to end it. And I'll go take a break. And I did. I took a break. It's five days later. I'm hoping that this can actually be enough of a break that I'm you know, fully chill, fully relaxed, fully zen about the uh, the game that we're going to have today. But fingers crossed that we get a nice W. We are facing off, like I said, against M Dragon, and we have a really cool team this week. Basically, before I do jump into that, I want to say that his team has three rockers. They're going to beat the Gliscor, the Cobalion, and the Golem. I don't believe that Cobalion or Golem, Golem are going to come this week because of Arceus, Solgaleo, Naganadel, just the, the multitude of Pokemon that I have. I think Gliscor is really solid, but other than that, um, that's the only rocker. So it may not be in my best interest to run boots on things. Uh, other than that though marshadow is absolutely insane my entire roster has like no counter to that outside of like togekiss and that's not even that good of an answer uh the good news is it kind of has to run low kick to be able to break through rcs as well as it really wants to it has to run something like a uh, shadow sneak for, for priority which is really good it has to run a ghost move to hit something like the soul galeo um it has to run rock tomb for, for togekiss slash full corona so that's really the main point I'm trying to make with that is that it has four move slot syndrome. That's what I'm trying to say with it. The gear not, I have no idea what set it's going to run, but there is a multitude of sets that can be scary, whether it's setting up, uh, whether it's assault vest or whether it's just like spec, all can be terrifying. Even a jack pack of third can be terrifying. Uh, Protein Grant is insane. Uh, with the grass not getting stabbed, it could Oko Arceus depending on the set. So it is very scary. Uh, Gliscor just has so many, so many difficult things to, uh, so many, so many counters because of poison heal uh slow king with assault vest or with rocky helmet is definitely possible same thing with tangrowth and then curum can definitely be a boot set or an offense except like scarf i don't anticipate anything else to come and of course here comes shadow which i will just put her off to the side now let's go ahead and jump into our uh, team that we are bringing starting with our first one it is going to be our oh that is the pokey pace there we go over here our togekiss togekiss is here for the first time this season i believe roost air slash key wave and heal bell the investment on this set is pretty important it's basically our answer to marshadow that's really the only thing we have for it uh, the speed on this set is just there for creepers, really, uh, nothing else. Um, on top of that, we also are able to take a Spec Greninja's Ice Beam from full or a Modest Life Orb Ice Beam from full, and we take an Expert Belt Max Attack Jolly Gunk Shot from Greninja as well. Keep in mind, this is Protein Gren. We also take two non-boosted Jolly Marshadow attacks, any two, including Rock Tomb. Uh, there are two real Rockers, and I'm banking on no Rocks coming, so I decided to go with Rocky Helmet. And the reason for that is because my only real answer against Life Orb Marshadow is just chipping it down. Hoping it goes for like low kick or close combat or drain punch against my against my Arceus or something like that. Going into this, it takes 10% from life, or it takes 17% from rocks, and then it's gonna take more damage from other attacks. And if it's not boostable, if it went for like low kick or something, and I'm at a good amount of health, I should take the rock tomb, and then I can go for air slash, or most likely Thunder Wave, and then I can be in a really good position against the rest of his roster. Just a super solid mod overall, can do really good work. Heal Bell is there for my Arceus, that is the main thing. Uh, I guess also for a few other mods, but really mostly it's for Arceus. Our next one is going to be our Megalopony here with Triple Axel, which is fantastic against the, uh, well, a non-helmet Tangrowth, a non-helmet, I guess, Magirna could be a thing, uh, a non-helmet uh, Slow King. Well, it's not good against that, but it's, you know what I mean. We're not taking as much chip. It also hits, kind of, okay, I don't know if you can see her. She's like attacking my hands while I'm going on right now. Uh, <laughs> either way, um, as I was saying, so a Triple Axel is fantastic against Gliscor, against Tangrowth, and a couple other Pokemon. U-Turn is a real good option against the Slow King. Uh, close Combat, really solid overall, and Passat is there in case we get burnt. It's also like the best normal stat we have. Now the Return is not in the game. Our speed on the set is there for the Marshadow, and that's really it. It's just the best option for us to, uh, to really revenge Pokemon on this team. Super solid mod overall. Our next mod is going to be our Arceus Ground here with Judgment, Ice Beam, Calm Mind, and Recover. I was having a hard time deciding what I want to do if I want to run like a secondary move over uh like a secondary or a tertiary attacking move over calm mind but i decided to go with just this set here um and the reason i decided to do this is because in general we can do a lot of good work against this team with ground and ice coverage like a lot of the team that he has is pretty weak to it marshall doesn't appreciate taking hits mcgarna's weak Greninja's pretty frail uh gliscor's weak to ice tangrowth weak to ice uh slow king we actually do more with uh with judgment than we do with like shadow ball or something because it's stab it's more powerful and we have the earth play on top of that so it just makes no more sense to have just 
judgment. And if we are not toxic, if we get burnt, specifically if we get burnt, I think we're in a fantastic position to set up on quite a few Pokemon, including Gliscor, Slowking if it's not running Dragon Tail, uh, Tangrowth depending on the set, if it's not running Leaf Seed, uh, Curium if we're already set up, and quite a few other things. The main Pokemon that can really break this Pokemon are going to be uh, Greninja's if it's running Grass Knot or Hyper Pump and it's getting crits or boosted off attacks, or the Marshadow if it's going for Low Kick specifically. It's the best way it can hit me. Super solid set overall though. What exactly does the investment do? Will you have speed for anything creeping me, creeping it, creeping me? No, no. The, the investment is, I wrote down my notes because I didn't want to go too complicated. We have speed for anything creeping me, creeping modest plus a bit. No, I didn't write, I didn't write the set. We have anything creeping me, creeping a modest Kyurem. That's what it's for. So if it's a timid max speed Kyurem, we're not going to speed that. Important to note. Our special attack allows us to always 2 a kill a max HP assault best Magirna with the judgment. We take Life Orb, Timid, Protein, Grenada's Grass Knot, or a plus one modest Magirna's Grass Knot. We also take add plus one Marshadow's Low Kick with Rocks Up, and we take two Jolly Life Orb, Marshadow Ice Punches, or Close Combat. If it's Low Kick, it technically two kills because for some reason on the damage calc, it gets the technician boost, even though it's 120 base power against my Arceus. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. This is our Arceus. Our next one is going to be our Volcarona. This is one of our main win conditions this week. It is a Quiver Dance Volcarona. Uh, this set is really solid against this team. Like, honestly, look at Volcarona. Look at this team. It's very, very scary. Uh, in general, if we can get boosted up and we can be in against a special Pokemon like Magirna, uh, then we can be in really good shape. Magirna doesn't actually get a, uh, a physical move to really break me down. It's like Iron Head's like the best bet it can do. Yeah, I can Volt Switch out to something scary, but if I get a Quiver Dance up, I'm not speeding everything. And depending on what's coming in, I may have it in range of my, my attacks. So again, super, super good in this matchup here. The investment we have on the set, I believe it's the same. It's slightly faster than our Arceus, actually. We went to two speed points higher than our Arceus. That way, just in case uh, we're getting speed creeped by something else on our Arceus, we can actually outspeed with the uh, the Volcarona. I just didn't need extra off, extra bulk, really. So I decided to say, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go a bit more speed. And we have our uh, our really, well, our insane amount of special attack and a good amount of uh, special of HP, rather, to to take physical hits and special hits, which is, again, really, really important. Uh, our next mod is going to be our Naganadel here. Naganadel is our Sash lead this week with Pulse, uh, Flamethrower, Spikes, and Toxic. Toxic is there for a way to 100% always hit Floking with Toxic. It also will hit something like the Marshadow with Toxic, I guess, the Curum with it. Just really mainly it's for the Sloking, which is what I expect to be the main counter to this Pokemon. Uh, Dragon Pulse has, what, one resist, two resists. It's the Magirna and the Cobalion, and then Flamethrower will do really good damage to that. The main thing is because we're modest, we can actually do really good damage to a Glyscore. If Glyscore is like specially defensive, then I'm not going to be able to do enough. But in all my mocks, Glyscore was not running specially defensive. It was running like really, really fast. So I decided to say, you know what? This is really good. I'm not going to change it. Spikes are very important to chip down a lot of the team. If I can get a Spikes, it's going to severely weaken what he can do against my roster. Really think it's important for this week's matchup. And I decided to just go max speed because why not? I just don't need the extra bulk. So I'm, I'm a Sash lead. I don't need the extra bulk at all. So we're going with this set. Our next mod is going to be our Sogaleo here. Sogaleo with Reflect, Light Screen, Knock Off, and Morning Sun. It is a screen Sogaleo. Um, look, I don't know what to say about it. It's just a solid mod overall. It gets up screens. It, offensively this week, it could be really good, but defensively, it's just absolutely terrible. There's a Marshadow. There is the uh, Gliscor. There is the Greninja. Tangrel, depending on the second, break it. Sloking, depending on the second, break it. Curum, depending on the set, can break it. There's just a lot going on with it. So I felt that having a Pokemon that can just get up screens and then knock off items, get rid of the Life Orb, get rid of the Weakness Policy on Magnet, get rid of the uh, the, the Toxic Orb on Gliscor as it's coming in. Assault Vest or, or, or even the Rocky Helmets is really, really important. She is, sorry, she is biting, she is biting my hand while I'm speaking, okay? I, I talk with my hands. You guys don't see it because like I cut that part off, but she is biting my hand while I'm talking. Um, as I was saying, Okay, Morning Sun for recovery is fantastic. The investment we have on this set is going to allow me to, number one, uh, take two Modest Magirna Shadow Balls from full, and we take an Adamant Life Orb Marshadows Poltergeist with Rocks Up. That is our Sogaleo. Super solid Pokemon overall. Hopefully, this team can get to W. We will see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. It is time to battle. All right, everyone, we're back. And uh, I didn't mention it in the team builder, but this is BBL Arceus, so I'm wearing a hat, a different hat, every single stream for this, uh, this season. Um, this is a bucket hat. I don't look good in it, but as Addison in our chat says, I look adorable because it doesn't look good at all. But hey, um, <laughs> I'll keep it. Julie's going to laugh when she sees this video, but let's go ahead and jump into the matchup. Uh, this is basically what I expected. We see uh, one rocker in the Gliscor, uh, which again sucks, but I feel like it's not really going to run rocks. It has four Muslot Syndrome. Magirna obviously comes the regen core, makes a lot of sense. The offensive Breaker in Greninja, Offensive Breaker in Marshadow. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Nagan Deldo. That is my best play. And um, leading Naganadel, everything is hit by Spike except for the Gliscor. 
and that's his only potential defogger. So we'll see if it even has defog, and we can see if we can even get multiple spikes up. So um, <laughs> well, let's see, let's see. If we see a lead of Grant or Marshadow, I just click spikes. If I see a lead of Magirna, I probably still click spikes because it can Volt Switch out on me. Um, if I see a lead of Tangrowth or Slowking, I'm probably clicking Toxic. Uh, if I see a lead of Glyscor, I'm probably clicking Spike. All right, so we see a Greninja lead, and uh, my play here is to Spike. 100%, uh, I have to, and um, that's really it. If he goes for Ice Beam, it's Sash. I will take the hits. Really the best I can do. There is the Ice Beam. Protein pops off. We are surviving with our Sash, and we will get up a Spike as it is Life Orb Gren. So this is really good for us here. Uh, here, I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Yes, we are going to basically lose this Pokemon. Uh, do I want to go for Dragon Pulse? I'll go for Flamethrower here. Doesn't really matter at all. Uh, if he goes for a Spike of his own or T-Spike, it is what it is. But uh, I'll just go for a Flamethrower here, get big damage off on this Pokemon in case it is designed to run Spikes of itself. As it goes for a Dark Pulse, turns into a Dark Type, and that is a KO on Magnadel. So Magnadel did its job. It got up a layer of Spikes. What is our next step here? Well, we know right away that this thing is not actually going to be running, uh, is not, well, Scar. So we can actually go into Lopunny and U-Turn on it. And uh, I think that's what I want to do. I know there's a possibility to run a uh, Solgaleo, not Solgaleo, Rocky Helmets on the Slowking or on the Tangrowth, but both of them are weak to my uh, U-turn. So I'm going to go for the U-turn here. As we see the Tangrowth come in, this is going to take the Spike. We're probably going to take Rocky Helmet here on the U-turn. As we're going to do 24%, and there is the Rocky Helmet. For the fourth week in a row, we see Rocky Helmet on something. Um, now, I can go into my Arceus. I do want to see how much Arceus will do to Tangrowth. Uh, Tangrowth is the defensive. Or no, let's not go physically defensive. Let's go Lopunny. We did 24%. That is like a min roll for Fizz Death. Uh, if that has no spit death, no Fizz Death at all, uh, we would have done 32% min. So we did like the absolute minimum we could have possibly done. RC is coming in. Uh, again, we do 72 to 86 with this thing. So I can do that. I can go to Togekiss, which doesn't really do much for me. Uh, Volcarona, his switch in would be like Glyspore or something. Um, but I'm going to go into Togekiss. No, I misclicked. I misclicked. I misclicked. I misclicked. I misclicked. I want to go into Arceus. Um, that's fine. I think that's, I think that's fine. Um, hmm. Um, here I want to double, to be honest. Like, his plays probably go into... Possibly Gliscor. Possibly Magirna. Um, I'm gonna go into Arceus here. Maybe it's Slowking, but I don't think Slowking wants to like like Slowking can get 60% chance to just be well flinched down the entire time. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I messed up. I want to go into Arceus and I didn't, and that's gonna cost me here. We see him switch into Glide Score. I'm totally fine with that. Um I can go for an ice beam here. I can go for a calm mind here. Uh I think my play here is to go for the calm mind, to be honest. He can go to Slow King. I'm going to have a bit more chip on, so I'm going to do that. As we do see Slow King come in, it's probably a Salt Fest. And uh, here we will go for the Judgment. We are going to do a fat 56% to a... Okay, it goes for Toxic. Totally fine with that. Completely, completely fine with that, because I have, I have access to Heal Belt on my Togekiss. So, I'm good with this. Uh, the question here is, am I going for Ice Beam? Am I going for Judgment? What is the play? Is he planning to sack this off? I want to go for the... If I go for Judgment and he goes into Tangrowth, that's like best case scenario, I guess. No, if I go for Judgment, he goes into Glyscore. I just Ice Beam after. Um, hmm, how much do we do if I go to Arceus Ground at plus one against the Slow King? Slow King took 56 from that. It's not max to death. Um, that is a high roll for no for max bedef or max bedef no like boosting nature that is a okay this this thing has bedef if it's like a thousand min roll i did 56 percent we're looking at around 72 in spadef and 50 and 52 in uh in hp so ice beam will do 13 at 260 i can go for another judgment here if he goes into glyscore he goes into glyscore so be it um hmm i think i just go for the earth power and the judgment again yeah, because at this point, if I get a refresh off and I get back into the Gliscor against this Pokemon, then I'm in a really good spot. In comes the Gliscor. I mean, fine. That's fine by me. I can go for an Ice Beam here. I think that's the play, to be honest. Uh, if we see a Slow King come out, and like, again, totally fine. I'll just go for the Ice Beam. There's the Slow King. Again, totally fine. We're doing more than it's getting back with Regen, basically. We're doing around the same. 
Uh, here I can go for another judgment, so I'll just go for it. Okay, so we got the KO on the Slow King. That's nice. Problem is, we are now in range of basically Gren and of Marshadow, which does suck. But we have counters. We still have counters. Here comes the Gren. That's fine by me. Um, let me think about this. How do we want to play this out? I don't want to lose this Pokemon yet. Hocus, like is, is cool and everything. Doesn't make much sense. Uh, Ice Beam is probably the play. I can go into Solgaleo here. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Solgaleo. There's the Ice Beam. No freeze. Okay, so if I go Greninja, uh, we see Life Orb against my Solgaleo. We're looking at Dark Pulse doing 69% tops. Um, I can go for... I can go for the light screen. Doesn't really do much for me. I can go for the reflect as well. If I go for a reflect here, he gets the KO the next turn. Well, first of all, knockout will do 24 to 29, by the way, which is obviously not much. Um, hmm. I can also go hard into Lopany here. Lopany will take 30% from, from the Dark Pulse. So I kind of want to do that. At least we switched to Tangrowth for some reason. That's fine, I guess. Um, it's unfortunate, that's for sure. Um, huh. Hmm. <laughs> I can go into the Togekiss and Heal Bell. How much does Lopany in to max? How much does Triple Axe do to max? Uh, Max HP, max defense, tank growth. It's not going to KO. It does, wow, only 40 to 51. That is nothing at all. I can go for just a U-turn and switch out. I can also just go hard into Solaleo here, which I think I'm going to do. You see Leaf Seed come out. That is totally fine. I will click the knockoff here. Get rid of the Sync's Helmet, which is really big for me. As we see, just Glass will come in. Interesting. Okay. Um... Here I can go back into Lop. I can go into Toke. I think that's fair. Oh, this thing's running defog. God damn it, it is running defog. Okay, well let's uh, let's heal bell here. We see a toxic come out. Totally fine by me. Here's a heal bell. Totally fine by me. There is a heal bell. Um, so what moves does it have? Probably, is it running roost even? Is it even running roost? I can go into Lopany here, catch the toxic. There it is. Now I have a boosted facade. Um, hmm. Now I can go for a U-turn. If he goes for his own U-turn, if I if I click U-turn, he goes into his own. That's a problem. I think I'm just gonna go for my own U-turn here. We'll see if he stays in. We just see a swap into tank growth, totally fine. We're gonna take more helmet chip, which does suck, but here I can go into I can go into Arceus again. This doesn't get me anywhere though. I need to be healthier. To do that. We can go Volcarona. Volcarona pressures everything. This could be Spit Death Fly score, but I'm gonna go Volcarona anyways. Um okay. Here I can go for the quiver dance. Let's go for the fiery dance here, try and scale build what he wants to do. How much do we do to Volcarona? How much do we do to Gly score? If it's specially defensive. Wow, if it's spin death, neutral, it does 35 to 39. Insane. That is nothing. Plus one, we actually do enough to take the hit. Like, what are his last moves? Like, is he running a rock move on this thing? His defog, yeah, but like, he has um, a toxic, yeah, but like, I don't know how much good it's going to do for him. Probably, he's definitely running earthquake. He's got to. Then what is it? It's a U turn, it's roost, it's knockoff, it's a rock move. This thing has rock moves. I know that. I just feel like he can't let this go. I won't cover dance here. You can't let it go. There's Magirna. We can go for a fiery dance here. Um, Magirna. If it's max HP, plus one has a chance to KO. This thing gets heart swap. I know that. Question is, at plus one, does it KO me? Or does it? I'll go for fiery dance here. I just have to. Alkaberry. Yep, and there's a heart swap. Thunderwave instead. Um, that's fine. I'll Quiver Dance here again. I mean, ugh, I don't know if I can. I just gotta go for it. 
If this thing goes for heart swap or something on me, that is... Come on! No, we got rid of this thing. We got rid of it. No! Ah! That is unfortunate. Getting rid of this Pokemon would have been really nice for my team. Here comes the Marshadow. This thing has Rock Tomb. I know that. Um, my answer doesn't exist. That is so unfortunate. Uh, okay. Bull Corona against Marshadow. Spectral, three, Spectral Thief KOs me. I can go into Solgaleo here. It's like there's a Rock Tomb coming in. I mean, Rock Tomb's going to mess up my... Rock Tomb's going to mess me up. Let's go into Solgaleo here. See what he's going to do. Spectral Thief comes out. That's fine. We'll die here. Is it Life Orb? It's not Life Orb. Okay. Um, here I can go into the Togek. I mean, this like this would have been so good for me. If we got rid of the Magirna there, we would have been in such a good shape. Wow. Wow, that is big. That is really unfortunate. Uh, here I can go into Togekiss. Uh, against Togekiss, I probably want to click Thunder Wave, I guess. Slow things down. If Magirna comes in, Magirna comes in, so be it. There's Gliscor. That's unfortunate. Uh, here I can go for my Heal Bell. Fine. Um, if we see Toxic come out again, I mean, I don't know what I go into. I just gotta go for Air Slash. Try and no, this is gonna do nothing. Ugh, missing that attack was so big. Missing that attack was so big. Or getting paralyzed, whatever. First of all, that should have killed me always, right? It did how much to me? 57? That's either Adamant. If it's Jolly, it wouldn't have killed. So it means it's either Expert Belt. Or spooky play, or it's banded. Go back into you, take the toxic. Uh, we can heart swap into Volcarona. We see a swap into Magirna this time, which that's unfortunate. We should not KO here. I'll go for the Fiery Dance. KO, please. Doesn't KO. Another Paralysis. Um, okay, let's Quiver Dance. We see the Glass War come in. We do manage to break through, which is good. Uh, let's go for another Quiver Dance here. Let's see if it has... There's Earthquake. 45%. That is too much damage. Swap into this on the Earthquake. Heal Bell again. On another Toxic. Ugh. There's the Gren coming in. This thing has Ice Beam. Like, my god, just the f that what, a, what an unfortunate turn of events getting paralyzed on the Magirna there. Getting rid of that would have been really nice because I could have just I could have just broken through a lot of the team. Aerosh is 44 to 51. Thunder Wave. We eat it. We do connect this, which is good. I can go for a roost here because it's going to remove my ice typing or my, my flying typing. Oh, come on. No. Good prep, but like, fuck me. That is so bad. That is so bad. Go into this. That is so bad. I thought this thing would need more coverage. Lopany against Gren. 38 to 45 with U-turn. I'm just going to go for it. In comes the Magirna, sacking it off. <sighs> like, I got to go. How do I play this out? I can't break the, 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 the fucking Gly score. I'll go Arceus here. There's the Marsh Shadow. Yep. 
Um, we go into Volk, I guess. Please burn, please burn, please, 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 please. No. If this thing is scarfed, it's game over. The U turn here. Like, I, I, can't, I can't just attack as the thing because of the goddamn uh, tank growth. If I just go for knockoff, that original turn, ugh. This dies. Yeah, here comes the Arceus. I'm just, just so frustrated. So frustrated, man. Let's click Judgment, Close Combat, we die, there you go. I'm pretty sure this is Bandit, let's go for Close Combat here. That's a GG's, that's a GG's. So, good game, um, I'm salty because like I, I haven't gone a fair shake in a battle in a long time. And I know it's Paralysis, but it's 25% chance for it to paralyze me. That's it, just 25. So, why am I, like, like the only time that I actually was paralyzed. It's, uh... You know, when it rains, it pours, and like, it's not a big, it's not a big piece of hack. It's not. But like, last week, and then onto this week as well, I felt like if I got a plus one attack on that thing, I'm at plus one, it kind of forces everything to go for certain attacks against me, forces certain things to come in, forces things not to come in. Magirna being gone means he has less of a sack against my team. You can't just go for Magirna on the U-turn. I'm able to set up freely a bit more with Arceus. I don't know. But he, he brought he brought a team with a lot of a lot of toxicing, a lot of just like status setting. Magirna with Thunder Wave, toxic on both the Glass Square and the Slow King. Um, I mean, Tangrowth was annoying as hell. The fact that he had Defog on Glass Square was really big. It is what it is. It is what it is. We pick up a loss here. We're one in three. Our differential sucks the last week. Like I I gotta make some changes. I'm making changes to the team. I, I think like here's the issue. Lopany. It's a magnet for Rocky Helmet. Everything is running Rocky Helmet. Nothing on my team specifically hates Helmet, except for Lopin. That's it. And like, I, I get it, okay? But like, why? Like, like it's it's every single week, Lopin hate. Like, so much hate for Lopin. And on top of that, it, does, just, it just doesn't get enough anymore. Without having access to return, it's not good enough anymore. Um, Nagnadel has been just... <laughs> Look, Nagnadel has just been bad. Um, Sobaleo has been fine. Like, Magirna was the pick originally, but uh, we got sniped by M Dragon, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, but GG's, it was. Yeah. And he mentioned just in the chat, I think he just set up again after Heal Bell with Volk. I had nothing for it. And yeah, he's right. The issue was, I just could not. Like, if I had killed the Magirna there, mm, that would have been so good. But I did not. I'm going to go back to this quickly. I want to see something against the Magirna from when it survived. Um, was Volcarona a C? Yeah. So. He swapped into Magirna there, and if I got that KO, I would have been in better shape. Then I could try setting up again on the Tangrowth. I wouldn't have been paralyzed, um, so I could try. I can always outspeed the Glass and just roost up back damage. It's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. I didn't get a chance to get my Reflect up. Solo was useless this game. Just it was not. I think I did the best I could with it. All things considered, I just did not. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. But uh, I'm going to make some changes to the team. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We are getting close to 1,500 subscribers. I'm going to get out of this hat because I feel like ridiculous in it. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.